you have a rather complex and critical welding task to absolve and you cannot use this here to do it, well, then the only thing that actually remains is hand welding, right? Or is there something else? Hi, within another video, we were talking about IO welding. So welding from the inside to the outside. Basically, we were talking about standard T pieces. But how do we handle a task like this? Where you see that we were taking out material here and what is remaining is a three-dimensional welding task. A three-dimensional weld seam that we need to perform on this. And the question is, how can it be done? Actually, in the projection, so from the top view, that's certainly a circle, because we're talking about tubing in this case. The question is, can that be done also with orbital welding? And what I brought you here as well is a standard, let's say, sample where we were performing a weld seam around it. And this is exactly this welding task that I was talking about. And we see here a pretty good weld seam around it, which is certainly three-dimensional. And the question is, how can it be done? Can this be done by an orbital welding method or is this hand welding? So I would say I'd rather talk to somebody who is familiar with such a topic. All right, so we are here at the Dockweider welding department and I have the pleasure to talk with Andreas Britting about the possibility for three-dimensional weld seams that we can apparently achieve with the system. So, Andreas, how does it work? Yes, we weld uh, from inside to outside. We go with the electrode inside and let it rotate. And at the same time, we make a little move up and down. All right. Thanks so much. We are here in Solution Engineering and I'd like to talk to Susanne Baumbach and ask her about the application and why does the customer would need such a weld seam. We have here a sample for a cooling manifold for a nuclear fusion reactor and the customer can't accept uh, hand weld seams because he needs uh, complete uh, traceability and uh, otherwise he has to take care on safety reasons. And uh, finally, we have to use, in this case, three-dimensional orbital weld seams. All right. Thanks so much. All right. So, I hope I could show you that we were able to translate the customer requirement via automated orbital welding into a solution that is consisting or providing as high safety standard, a safety standard that is meeting the requirements of the customer. If you have further questions on that, I would certainly be glad to discuss that with you. And I would certainly be glad to welcome you in one of our next videos. Take care and stay healthy.